Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm following up my last video creating this flawless braid out. And if you're wondering how I got these results, definitely check out the link in the description box of this video, which will send you over to that tutorial. I decided to show you all how I maintain my style by showing you all a week in my hair. So for me, I love fluffy big hair while also maintaining some definition i'm really a big volume junkie so i love fluffing and separating my hair even more so this is what it looked like once i fluffed it some more at the end of day one as a reminder i used these styling products the diva curl super stretch styler which is perfect for creating elongated hair while also defining the hair and i also added tons of shine with their high shine finishing serum which can be used on wet or dry hair i really love that this is a blend of oils that can actually be absorbed it's lightweight not greasy but as you can tell from that first clip gave my hair a ton of shine so let's get into the week in my hair video for those of you who wonder how i maintain my hair at night i simply pineapple that just means i shove all of my hair up to the top of my head with a silk scarf this is actually a scarf that i got from diva curl that my sister has tried to steal so many times because it's an awesome silk scarf and that's it when i hop into the shower i literally just keep that scarf on and then just add a plastic cap to the very ends of my hair just to keep them from getting too much steam or moisture on them and this is what it looks like when I take my hair down. I am ready to fluff, I might smooth the edges, and that's pretty much it. Now, I live on the East Coast in the DC, Maryland area, and there's a ton of humidity, and depending on the day, I can go out the house with super defined curls and go in by the time I commute to work with a mop because of how much humidity is in the air. But thanks to that Diva Curl Super Stretch Styler, my hair still held up. It was a bit more swollen than it was when I first left the house. I could definitely tell, but the styler definitely still helped it hold up. I'm literally just after commuting to work, kind of fluffing my hair, giving it a little bit more shape again, and I'm still on the go, and that's it. I actually worked out with a trainer that day, so I just simply put my hair up in a puff to work out and then took it down. All right, it's the next morning, the following day. This is now gonna be day two hair. No, this is day three hair. Um, so on day three hair, after working out, after commuting to work, after dealing with humidity, you guys can see I have a bit more frizz. I have a bit less super defined hair, but I still can work with it and can make it work. I'm using this super awesome pick. This is actually a scalp soother that can also scratch your scalp as well, but I actually use it as a styling pick because of the teeth. It works perfectly for helping me kind of shape and fluff my hair. And that's pretty much all I'm doing. And then I'm headed right back out of the house to work all over again. After I've gotten my hair all fluffed and shaped and kind of just back into a shape because sometimes the pineapple can stretch it out, I decided to go ahead and pin my hair partly back because I knew I was going to be working out again that day and that way I could just have my hair already up and off my face. Alright, it is day four and I did another workout with the trainer, another workout session so my hair is even bigger and fluffier um, and I am literally just going to let my hair kind of do its thing there's still plenty to me definition to work with yes it is a lot more fluffy and bigger than it was on day one but i just embrace that and work with it instead of against it i find that doing that has definitely helped me to prolong my natural hair styles um, like with this braid out and i'm going to make it to seven days of wearing before i have to rewash and restock my hair 
So since I knew I was gonna work out again today, y'all, I'm really trying to take my fitness game up a notch, I decided to go ahead and continue to just keep half my hair up since it kind of got pulled in that direction anyway and just twist off the top of it into kind of a ponytail again and then just do a little kind of bun. Um, this worked perfectly because it kind of just kept the hair out of my face, especially because I do sweat a lot when I get my workout on and one of the things my esthetician mentioned was being mindful of not having a lot of hair and sweat around my hairline because it can cause breakouts and a lot of congestion to the pores there so to just make things easy plus this style is nice and cute in my opinion i just went ahead and decided to do a half up half down look um and this works out great for working out you can do a ton of different styles and transition your hair a ton of different ways this is just what i opted to do um and honestly if i was more sedentary and not quite as active i would even would not even have to be adjusting my hair quite as much because i'd probably still have quite a lot of that initial definition so guys the last two days i just simply puffed my hair into a high puff and worked out for days five and six and that was it if you all have any questions on how i keep my braids my braid outs styled throughout the week leave them below and if you would like to see me do another week in my hair video with other styles like my wash and goes or twist outs please thumbs up this video and let me know in the comment section thanks so much for watching guys bye